the discovery of the world's oldest life generator, 1.2 billion years old. Nationalgeographic.co.id, an international team of researchers has announced that they have discovered a 1.2 billion year old underground water system inside a gold and uranium mine in Moab Kotsong, South Africa. The system is the oldest generator of life and groundwater on Earth. The findings provide more insight into how life is maintained beneath the Earth's surface and how it may have developed on other planets. A full report of these findings has been published in the journal Nature Communications under the title 86 KR Excess and other noble gases identify a billion-year-old radiogenically enriched groundwater system recently. Oliver War, research associate in the Department of Earth Sciences at the University of Toronto and lead author of the study said, for the first time, they have insight into how energy stored deep beneath the Earth's surface can be released and distributed more widely over time. Think of it as a Pandora's box of helium and hydrogen producing forces, which we can learn how to harness for the benefit of the biosphere on a global scale, War said. Meanwhile, Barbara Sherwood Lawler, professor in the Department of Earth Sciences at the University of Toronto and a correspondent author said, 10 years ago, they discovered a billion-year-old groundwater from beneath the Canadian shield it seems like this is just the beginning. Now, 2.9 kilometers below the Earth's surface at Moab Kotsong, we have discovered that the world's water cycle outpost is wider than previously thought, Sherwood added. Uranium and other radioactive elements naturally occur in the surrounding host rock containing mineral and or deposits. These elements hold new information about the role of groundwater as a generator of life for groups of chemolithotrophic, or rock-eating, microorganisms. These microorganisms were previously found beneath the Earth's surface. When elements such as uranium, thorium, and potassium decay below the surface, the resulting alpha, beta, and gamma radiation has a ripple effect. It then triggers what is called a radiogenic reaction in the surrounding rock and fluid. At Moab Kotsong, researchers found large amounts of radiogenic helium, neon, argon and xenon. Also, the discovery of an unprecedented isotope of krypton. Radiation also breaks down water molecules in a process called radiolysis, producing large concentrations of hydrogen. It becomes an important source of energy for subsurface microbial communities deep within the Earth. Because they are deep below the Earth's surface, they cannot access energy from the Sun for photosynthesis. Because of their very small masses, helium and neon are valuable for identifying and measuring their transport potential. While the extremely low porosity of the crystalline bedrock in which this water is found means the groundwater itself is largely isolated and rarely mixes. At least 1.2 billion years old, diffusion can still occur. Solid materials like plastic, stainless steel, and even solid rock can eventually be penetrated by scattering helium. Much like the deflation of a helium-filled balloon, War said. Our results suggest that diffusion has provided a way for 75 to 82 percent of the helium and neon originally generated by the radiogenic reaction to be transported through the overlying crust. The researchers emphasized that the study's new insights into how much helium diffuses from deep within the Earth is a critical step forward. That's because global helium reserves are depleted, and the transition to a more sustainable resource is becoming very exciting. Humans are not the only life forms that rely on energy sources deep beneath the Earth's surface, War said. Because radiogenic reactions produce helium and hydrogen, we can not only learn about the reservoir and transport of helium, but also calculate the hydrogen energy flux from the depths of the Earth that can sustain subsurface microbes on a global scale. War notes that these calculations are critical to understanding how subsurface life is maintained on Earth. Future research, what energy might be available from radiogenic power on other planets and moons in the solar system and beyond. It may be useful for future missions to Mars, Titan, and Celadus in Europe, Jupiter's sixth satellite. That was the discovery of the oldest life generator in the world, 1.2 billion years old. Thank you for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe so this channel can grow up.